Hi guys, so the next type of reaction that we need to look at of benzene is the halogenation reaction. So again, the mechanism that I'll undergo is electrophilic substitution. Okay, all kind of uh, reactions for benzene rings and anything that's aromatic will be via electrophilic substitution. Okay, so in this one we're doing halogenation. So in this one we're going to have a halogen that is going to substitute one of the hydrogens on a benzene ring. So the overall reaction is our benzene ring, one of the hydrogens on there, um, and reacting that with a halogen. In this case I'm just going to go for bromine. And that hydrogen is going to be substituted by a bromine and therefore other product must be HBr. Okay, so two reactants um, and two products. Okay, now in this reaction, because you might have seen that benzene is quite unreactive, all the reactions of benzene require a catalyst. Okay, so in the nitration reaction, we had to have concentrated sulfuric acid. In this one, we have to have something called a halogen carrier. So basically just a fancy name for a catalyst. And in this case, the halogen carrier that we can use is FeBr3. Okay, we could, in this case, given that it's the bromination, we could use um, aluminium bromide, which is AlBr3. Okay, as long as it's got that bromine there, if we do the bromine um, reaction with it, that's fine. Okay, but in this case, we're just going to go for FeBr3. Uh, this one will happen at room temperature and pressure, so it doesn't need to be heated up. Okay, so that's the overall reaction catalyst required in this one as well. Okay, so again, just with like the nitration one, we've got to have three steps. Step one is the generation of the electrophile, so electrophile generation. Because Br2 itself is not electrophilic enough, okay, usually um, when we have the addition reactions of an alkene, um, the Br2 can act as an electrophile, but benzene is so unreactive that it needs to have um, a halogen carrier to create an electrophile with a positive charge, okay. So that FeBr3 is going to react with the bromine. And that's going to form Br+, plus, which is what we call our bromonium ion. And it's also going to form FeBr4-. minus. As you can see, um, one of the bromines has just attached itself to the Br, um, leaving kind of Br+, plus and an FeBr4-. minus. So just be careful of those charges over there. Okay, so this guy over here is our electrophile that's now been generated in step one. If we now move to step two, where we do the mechanism of this, where we do the substitution part. So step two is substitution. So we have our benzene ring, got that hydrogen at the top, got our electrophile present over here. Okay, so again, um, the curly arrow starts from the delocalized ring in the middle going to our electrophile. That's going to disrupt that delocalized ring in the middle and it's going to form this intermediate here. So remember horseshoe going over all five carbons, positive charge there, form a bond between um, the carbon and the um, bromine. We want to now... Um, we form that delocalized ring in the middle. It does that by taking the electrons from the carbon hydrogen bond. So curly arrow going back into the ring there, and that's going to form our bromobenzene, and it's also formed a H plus ion. Okay, so we formed our product over there. Now let's go and see what happens in step three because we still got a H plus there. We need to generate our sorry regenerate our catalyst in step three okay so step three is catalyst regeneration 
Okay, so we had our H plus being formed in step, so that was formed in step two. In step one, we formed FeBr4 minus. So now we need to regenerate the catalyst, which was FeBr3. Okay, and as you can see, the other product has to therefore be HBr, which was that product that we made, um, that we showed in our overall reaction. Okay, so we regenerated our catalyst, we formed the other product, step two, we formed bromobenzene, and that is our um, mechanism for the halogenation of a benzene ring. Same thing you can use, so we've just done bromine as an example. You can do the same thing, so if you want to do the chlorination reaction, so... For example, you want to react it with chlorine, you now form chlorobenzene and HCl. In this case, the halogen carrier that you need to use has to have um, chlorine in it. So FeCl3 is fine. You could have used AlCl3. Either of the two is fine as long as the halogen here matches the halogen at the end of the halogen carrier. Okay.